In this video, I'm going to show you a great new tool we have. It's called EndSnap, and you'll find it right here. So I'll click that. Now, you have a choice to maintain ratio or not. I'm not going to maintain ratio. I already have these patterns, the height that I want them to be, but they don't start and stop exactly on the right spot to be joined. So what I'm going to do, it's going to group them and I'm going to pick this one up. You can see that it's activated. And I'm just going to let go and let it pop on to the start of the next one. And those two patterns now are joined. Now I'm going to pan over here and do the exact same thing. I'm going to pick this one up and just slip it onto that one. And they are now joined together. And this entire pattern string here is considered one group. How easy was that to get my border to fit together? Let's pretend that it's going to bump into the edge of this border here. You're just going to have to pretend with me. And so I want to alter this just a little bit. So we want to morph it. I'm going to right click, open the group manager, and when I click on each pattern, you can see this is one of the uh, corners. And when I click it here, it turns dark green. This one here is the whole thing. This one is that group. And this one here is just the middle section. So I need to just choose the one I need. And it, it requires a little bit of warping to change that pattern just a bit, then I can do that. You can see here, I might change that one just a bit. And now maybe it'll fit a little bit better in my border. So those are two very quick and easy ways to alter your pattern so that you can fit it into your quilt very nicely.